right, here we are, the start of the AC100, one of the classic 100s, one of the original five. So we're going from Wrightwood to Altadena the hard way. This should be a hoot. Let's see how it unfolds. <laughs> Over a mile in, marching out of Brightwood. Starts with a nice climb right out of the gate. All right, getting the sweet accordion music. Thank you. All right, about a mile and a half in. We're on the Acorn Trail. All right, sunrise does not suck. Right up on the ridge now. There's a nice stiff cup of coffee to wake up on that climb. Some 20% grade in there. Legit climb to start it off. And I think it's kind of rolling for a while. Already pretty warm for like six in the morning. Sunrise. Got one little climb here. Six miles and change in. Nice flowy cruisy section through the trees. views here that I find acceptable. There's Baden Powell over there in the distance. We get to climb that bad boy. Not a bad way to spend the day. Oh, uh, but let's see what, we're, what I'm saying around 2 a.m. Hard to believe, off to the left, several million people. Could be up in the Wasatch Mountains or Rocky Mountains or someplace like that right now. Pretty cool. All right, coming down to Inspiration Point, aid station, 
nine miles and change. Lots of humans here. I'm gonna put the camera on the chest mount so things can get a little shaky. Apologies to the lady who comments on my movies that I should be wearing a gimbal. 79? 79? Thanks. Water. Water, all right, that's the kind of need. Well, four and a half to the next one. So you got four and a half to the next one. All righty. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, watermelon. Tasty. What's going How on, dude? I'm hanging in there. Where's trash? Oh, what? Ah, that's okay. Are they going to see you in this one? Where's the two chips out? Where do we check out? Right there. Wait, do you need anything? I'm all good. I'm all, I, I, I stocked up there, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll see you around. 173. 179. Rolling out. Someone lost their headlamp there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Had a mile out of inspiration and looking back towards the desert. Pretty cool. Right, here's the section I did my trail work on. You're welcome. I would say uh, so far AC trails are in pretty amazing conditions. I know it's a big hassle to do the trail work, but uh, I think the result is much better experience for the runners and uh, giving back to the community of all the trails we use. I know I always kind of dread it because it means I have to fit it in with training, but it's uh, glad to do it. All right, Vincent Gap Aid Station. Thanks, man. So nine. Thank you. All right, gonna reload here. So we got a nice climb coming up. The fun is starting. All right, grinding up, Baden Powell. Pretty steady climb. Trails are in great shape. Doing all right, man? Yeah, just keep grinding. All right, getting to the top of Bain Powell. I had more of the course, I believe, over 9,000 feet. We don't actually summit. We're gonna take this ride over here. Thanks. Then we got a nice little bit of downhill. And then I think there's some more uphill, and I think there's some more uphill, and then downhill. And yeah, it keeps going kind of like that. So uh, stay tuned for some exciting downhill and uphill. All right, cruising along the ridge line. Nice little trail. Doesn't look like it may get as much traffic as some of the others, but not bad.
All right, so kind of switch backy descent. Touch technical, not too bad. Not as buff as some of the other trails, but not bad. Ah, mile 20 plus. Entering the Sheep Mountain Wilderness. Didn't know that was the thing. Ah. So, uh, I rotate the camera around here so we can do this. Ah, there we go. Sorry, a lady wants me to have the gimbal. I didn't have the gimbal. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, mile 20 plus. It's already been uh, a lot of carnage out there. A lot of runners in distress already. Uh, it seemed like runners are going pretty hard. That was first, that first section. And it's like close to 18 miles with over 6,000 feet of climbing. It's pretty legit. And then we're by mile 15, our runners sitting on the side of the trail with that thousand yard stare. So just have to make sure that's not me. Uh, yeah, it's definitely temperatures coming up. It's about 10 a.m. something. Uh, along this ridge got a decent breeze, but it's gonna get warm. So gonna rock the full bad water heat protocol. And uh, just take it easy when it's hot. I need to just hike. When it's super hot, I'll do that. And then uh, leave something in the tank for tonight when it cools down. All right, let's do it. Behold, the San Gabriel Mountains. Totally underrated range of mountains just because it's by LA. Could be Tahoe, someplace amazing. And it's right here, the city of angels, baby. Hey, you to see those little white dots on top of the mountain there? That is Mount Wilson. Uh, we're going there. Just gotta do like 50 miles <laughs> through all the canyons here to get there. It looks like as a crow flies, maybe like eight to 10 miles. <laughs> we're gonna take the long route to Mount Wilson. Should be up there tonight sometime, like two, 3 a.m. So miss out on some of my favorite views in the San Gabriel Mountains. All right, about mile 25, burned out forest here. It smells very sm smoky. <clears throat> it's the saddle should be down there somewhere. All right, coming out of this saddle heat radiant out of the road, so going full bad water mode here with the ice. Whew. Get a little bit of road miles here, I think. All right, so just grind it out. All right, got the double tunnels up here.
getting close to Cloudburst Summit aid station. Quite a few road miles in here. It's gotten quite warm. <laughs> the pavement is just radiating the heat back up. It's like a little mini bad water. Hey, okay. rolling out of Cloudburst. And that looks like maybe it's an old fire road. It's now single track. It's very warm. <laughs> they had ice, which is a major bummer. Hopefully the next state station has ice. So we're, uh, what, uh, 33 miles and change in. All right, so I've done a long 50K with like 7,500 feet of vert, which would be, be a tough standalone 50K. All right, back on the road. Try not to get run over. All right, 30 mile 35 and change back on some single track well kind of I guess looks like an old fire road and now a single track all right uh we're in between three points and Mount Hillier. It's been kind of a mix of some single track. Now we're like on some roads for a campground. Oh, I'll say it's very, very hot. Oh, 3.30 in the afternoon. It's about the peak of the heat. Definitely feeling it. Luckily they had some ice at the last aid station that helped cool me down, yeah. Not having an ice cloudburst it got really, really hot. So I'm just keeping it really easy. So when it cools down, I have something left in the tank. See how that works out. All right, about a mile out from Chileo. Kind of this rocky trail, been kind of slow going with the heat. All right, we're rolling out of. Chileo, we're on like an old fire road. Sun's finally setting. Hopefully it'll cool down here pretty soon. Yeah, it's interesting. All these trails I had no idea even existed out here. Thought the first 25 miles were pretty epic. Some of this feels like trying to connect bits together. All right, finally uh, 
<clears throat> get up the shortcut saddle. I think I can probably finally eat some real food. Been pretty much gone all liquid. So it's been so hot. Except for some fruit. I think uh need some actual food. It's starting to cool down, the sun's setting. It's still pretty hot, but it's not crazy hot anymore. Alright, let's get up there, get some food, and get ready for night mode. Alright, rolling out a shortcut. Thank God the sun is going down. All right, let's do some running tonight. Yeah, some views that do not suck. I don't know what the views have been like for like the last 20 miles. I don't know how to watch, watch this movie. It's just been like a zombie march. Just dumping ice all over myself, trying to stay. Just keep grinding it out. So now, I'm trying to push a bit when it's cooler. All right, last glimpse of the sun for the night. Well, I wish this uh, movie, the next scene was me crossing the finish line, but that's not how it played out. Um, after that footage, I descended down that canyon, down the San Gabriel River, and it just kept getting hotter and hotter. It probably was like in the 90s down there. Uh, it just never cooled off at night. Um, so death march to uh, Newcomb Saddle Aid Station, uh, my friends, Jose and Shelly, shout out to them, were amazing. Uh, tried to get some food in me, um, and it was a pretty remote aid station, so there's no drop in there. Only one option to keep going on to Red Box at mile 72. Uh, and things just kind of progressively <laughs> unraveled. All the food I'd had at Newcomb came back up, uh, pretty much dry heaved my way there. Got there, the aid station was out of Coke and I uh, had no crew and just decided to live to run another day. I could pr probably could have dragged myself 28 miles dry heaving, um, but it was just one of those days where I didn't have it in me. Um, so a little, little bit of soul searching and reflection um, came after that. Made me really realize that, um, it has to be a race that I'm, I'm really excited about for me to, to go into the, the well that deep. Um, with benefit of hindsight, definitely would have had a crew uh, with that heat. It just did not cool down at night, so um, really need a crew to put your put yourself back together for this race. Definitely a challenging race um, with the mountains and the heat. I'll be honest, I'd say this would be an amazing October race. Um, in August, <laughs> it's kind of a suffer fest, um, but maybe one day I'll come back to it, but I will say I am in no hurry to do that. Well, now I'll have to figure out what the next adventure is, so stay tuned, follow along. Uh, another misadventure I'm sure will ensue, and um, let's see what happens. All right, thanks for watching.